work-life balance. Come on, ladies, oh, laugh. What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> we don't know. It's something we all struggle with. Many working mums run a crazy schedule of dressing and preparing the kids for school and daycare. They work a full-time job. They rush to buy the groceries and then fix dinner. Well, you know. You get the idea. How can we bring back just a tinsy bit of balance? Joining us today, GP Dr. Ginny Mansberg, author and columnist Kerry Sackville, editor of kidspot.com.au, Alice Brooks, and the blogger of the century, Mrs. Woog <laughs> of woogsworld.com. That is the best. Just try saying that, Mrs. Woog. It's a really very therapeutic thing to say. So we shall start with you, madam. Work life balance. Mm, um, I've been, I've done the, run the whole gamut. I have been a full-time working mum, a part-time working mum, and now I am a, I call it a wham. It's like a wham. It is called a Work at home mum. Mm. So I work from home, which I think for me, out of all the experiences that I've had, that's the one that works best for me with the, the juggle. Mm. What, because you can you know, jump up and do, put a load of washing on? Yep, and, and you can get back, get stuck into the work. You can do the school run in your pyjamas. If you have a meeting, you can get changed. It just works, for me, it works the best way. What about you, Alex? I just think once you become a mother, something has to give. It, certain chunks of your life have to fall away. And work from home, what you give up, which is um, dressing, <laughs> appropriately <laughs> um, cooking nutritious food you know you, you take all the shortcuts when you're a work from home mum mm. which is exactly what I am um, and I just think I don't know I, I wouldn't say it's um, without its obstacles and problems mm. because um, your schedules um, expand and your children only ever see you attached to a computer mm. or with a phone in your ear mm. and that brings its own mm. challenges mm. so you never shut down you never, never. shut down no I do second. I'm very disciplined with how I do it so I am. I find I'm overloaded with work. I work from home as well. Overloaded with work, got the three kids, um, help them a lot with their daily lives, whether it's homework or, yeah. or you know, just the challenges needing to talk to them and debrief about school and whatever. And I'm constantly feeling like I want to be doing more at my computer because I haven't finished the day's work. And then exactly. I want to be back to them because I feel like I haven't given them enough attention. And you're constantly being pulled in every direction. And I don't think any woman who has children and who works achieves a, yeah, a real balance, mm -hmm. at least you, not for Jimmy? long. Uh, look, I'm often working 12 hour days and then not at home, mm. so um, I would love to have a couple of days at home just to, instead of you know taking a mental health break for five minutes, do a load of washing in that time. I'm not a person to really discuss work-life ba work balance with anyone because I just do not have it going on. The only thing I do know is that if I don't exercise, I could get onto a broomstick and start cackling and flying up to the stars. <laughs> Pretty much exercise is the only that. thing that keeps me sane and coffee. There we go. Uh, <laughs> not any advice that you want to follow, really, in any way. We're pretty much saying it's up to you. 